Hey, what is up guys? We are going to be doing a deck profile for the Elemental Hero 420 Blazer deck that I played on 420. Very fun deck, really budget friendly. Uh, now with that reprint of Lavalo Chain, it's kind of cool that we can put that new card, Elemental Hero 420 Blazer, to use. As well as, it's just making, it's got Geargeas in it, it's got Volcanics, it's just the most random deck. And you guys can see, it can OTK very easy. Basically, it comes down to, uh, as long as you can make your Lavalo Chain successfully, and your opponent doesn't have any response, you know, as far as back row goes, because there's a a lot of decks that just don't have responses uh to you know basically after you get your monster out it's, everything's all good but we got three MSCs to deal with that back row and if you want you can definitely run night beams you can definitely run other things that's why you see that there's three slots right here you can put in anything that you want uh, i kind of like playing it with the elementor shadow mist so i have access to dark law you can definitely run mass changes and stuff you can do anything you want uh there's a lot of interpretations uh, to this deck, so you can definitely mix and match some of these cards. This is not the actual side deck, it's just other cards I kind of uh, thought that would work well in the deck, and uh, we'll get to those uh, later, but uh, for the most part, this is the, I'd say, core. There's probably, a, like, 20 of these cards are core. The rest, it's all kind of open to whatever you want. I can only just put 15 cards in here. That's There's a limit here. But anyways, yeah, just have fun with the deck. It's more of a fun deck than anything, and it's cool. You will definitely be OTKing like crazy. As long as you just don't draw like multiple copies of these. Uh, if you draw one though, it's not the end of the world. It just makes it actually easy for you because you don't actually have to make a Lavalo chain. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into the deck profile that'll kind of explain uh, the choices. And if you're just here in that deck, I'll put the YDK file down below in that description box. But anyways, let's go ahead and finally get started. So we've got three copies of Accelerator and uh, we'll go ahead and explain things as we go along. So basically, uh, what you want to do with your Accelerator, you might be new to Gear Gears, but um, basically you want to set, like the most optimal thing to do in the deck is to first turn set an armor, and then uh, if your opponent uh, attacks the armor, you get to flip the armor, then you're going to search out one of these. That's the only card that you're going to search out for, unless of course you want to play some other versions of the deck or you know make other cards uh, that just aren't in here. But majority of the time, uh, if this thing flips up and it survives, uh, you usually win the duel anyway. So you go ahead and add the accelerator here, and then uh, during your turn, you flip it back face down, and then you flip it back face up, and then you're gonna add a second one. But he just lets you get free special summons, and in addition to that, it just, not only lets you, it, it gives you free special summons, but it allows you to just make Lavalo Chain easier without actually using your normal summon, because you might need uh, your Elemental Tier 420 Blaze it to uh, be normal summoned in order to add that polymerization to your hand. But majority of the time, uh, it's just used. To, you can make a gear again X. You know, maybe first turn you're like, you know, I just want to go first turn, add another accelerator, and then maybe next turn you can go off from there. Uh, and maybe you know this thing can attack over a monster your opponent already has that you just don't want to deal with. And the next one we're playing three Goblinberg because it really helps you just get out the ability to make a Lavalo Chain as quickly as possible because this is the main key player here. Um, I would recommend you guys to definitely play more than one. It's just for this, I can only show you 15 right here, but I uh, would recommend you guys to play two. It is kind of a budget deck, so if you can only run one, hey, the deck can still run pretty much uh, fine. As long as this one just goes off, just make sure you know your opponent and you know isn't going to like have an answer to it. Uh, but yeah, this card just helps you uh, make other things too because it is technically a word, it is searchable off of Rota, plus you can have access to Excalibur, so it's very nice. Uh, then we're playing three copies of 420 Blaze It. Uh, just, the reason why we're playing multiple copies of it, uh, well, originally I was playing Dark Law, but then uh, it kind of just turned into a Dark Law deck, and uh, you know, we've already seen that deck before, and so I, I kind of just decided to take it out for a while, see how it went. You don't really need Dark Law, but it does kind of make the deck nicer, like I said. Feel free to try any of these cards that you want. Um, but uh, you basically just want him because you do want that ability to add the polymerization because you're going to be getting uh, only po you're going to get polymerization for free and in addition to that you once you use polymerization with volcanic shell you have free pyros for days. Uh, like I said, if you draw, it's not too bad. One thing I do want to I know it says it's a Snoop Dog, but it's actually a warrior. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, he's he's a warrior, so he does not count as pyro. Um, if he did count as pyro, he'd be like a thousand times better in this deck, would be so much more consistent. Uh, but it is, it's pretty easy to pull off an OTK in this deck. Um, like I said, as long as your opponent has no back row, because you can just burn him for ridiculous amounts with uh, the Blaze Phoenix. But uh, next up, we're playing three copies of armor. Like I said, opening up with first turn armor is usually you win. Uh, there's also two copies of Summoner Monk, because Summoner Monk allows you to make a level of chain relatively easy. Let's you throw out monsters, uh, you know, on board, because you can... Uh, get out anything that you want and like, oh, wait, you get a gear gear? Oh, don't worry, you can special accelerate. So he opens up a lot of, like, stupid plays. Um, it also allows you to have access to just making uh, Black Rose Dragons because you can bounce back this card and then maybe you already get your free card off of this because this card gets its effect once normal or special summon. Same thing with Dark Law. 
uh, but uh, yeah, you just have access to getting like you know a free black rose. Again, I can't fit everything in here. I wish I could. Uh, yeah, you can obviously take out other cards and you play two cops known because we have two instant fusions. And if you want to make it TCG, yeah, obviously drop the instant fusions, run some other cards. But uh, yeah, I really love Sub Summoner Monk and Birdman. Birdman is usually though uh, used because not only is he a machine, but he lets you bounce back an accelerator only to special summon another accelerator. So it has a little bit of utility there. Uh, plus, you can maybe, depending on, uh, well, if you run mind control, you might be able to make this card. Get next ally. Oh, freaking, what was it called? Uh, I think it was thing. I don't remember its name. Uh, but I, it, it steals a monster in your opponent's uh, board. I forget what it's called. It requires a dark monster though um, And it, it believes it, it needs to be level six too because I know it's like him and Caius, right? Caius is six uh, I used to run this card all the time. I can't believe I forget its name. Someone's gonna mention the comment section below But uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool card. Let me find it. It's gonna drive me crazy if I can't figure out the name Let me just go to uh, monsters synchros all right, uh, Locomotion Arginex, that's the card. Yeah, it is a nine. So it allows you to have access to this if you uh, want to play the, the version with Dark Claw. Because I remember I was like, you can make this in the deck. Because at one point I was like, man, if I only had this card in my extra deck, I'd be able to make my opponent really, really salty. Because um, when this card is Synchro Summon, you get to take control of the face of monster your opponent controls with the highest level. If it's a tie, you get to choose. So it's a pretty cool card. Uh, like I said, you can make it with Dark Law and, and this card. You probably won't want to do that, but in the off chance that your opponent has something that you can take, it's just, you know, having options in the extra deck is nice. And this card's like really obscure. It requires a Gen X tuner and one or more non-tuner dark monsters. But uh, anyways, uh, let's just type this in so we can get, uh, get rid of the uh, rest of the chat. Anyways, um, the rest of the cards in here. Uh, next up, three Volcanic Shell. Don't play any less than uh, three. You, you, you need to play it. I know it sucks if you draw more than one. But if you draw one, it's not over. It's not like a neg one. You just It's actually fine because you don't have to make level level chain. You can make other things and definitely do other things. Uh, two copies of Instant Fusion. I know I'm only playing one copy of Noden, but when I'm going for my Instant Fusion play, um, I, I'm winning that turn anyways. Because that and when I'm using my Instant Fusion, it, it always involves me already making level level chain. And once I go for this, the game is going to be over unless I'm getting Battle Fader or like Necros of Valked. But uh, against Necros, uh, it doesn't have a really great matchup because... Uh, this deck technically is an OTK deck, and um, if you don't, you know, OTK and you throw up all your monsters on board, it's, it's not looking too good. But, um, you know, if you happen to be able to make a Dark Law, Dark Law can still do a lot of work against Necros. Um, next up, we're playing uh, two copies of Hero Lives. It just lets you get a... I know that there's, you know, uh, we're playing three targets with Hero Lives in this bird. Well, like I said, I, I recommend you guys play this, but it kind of turned out to be a Dark Law deck when I did that. But uh, yeah, you can definitely uh, add in some other cards if you want for the most part, but uh, this just gets you Blaze Man. And then from there you can like, um, if you can Hero Lives, go into Blaze Man, then you go into like Summoner Monk, into like other cards, and you, you can just like spam the board. It just allows extra spam ability. Um, very good stuff. And then we're playing one Raigeki and then like one Dark Hole because it lets you get rid of like Jinlocks because Jinlock is not very fun because this deck doesn't have an answer to it other than these two cards. Most decks only have like Raigeki or Dark Hole. Uh, some just, well, most of them will play Raigeki before Dark Hole, but for the most part, these are the, mo the main answers to it. And then we're playing two copies of Poly, uh, two copies of uh, Reinforcement of the Army, two copies of Miracle Fusion. I, I like the ratio of two and two for this. Uh, and also uh, two of these because it just allows you to like, just make other things and just kind of make a game real quick because um, it's kind of like one of those like El Shadal fusions. Like I attack you with everything and then your opponent's like, okay, it's not game, it's not game. And you're like, oh, psych, you know, match chain psych and, and then you game them anyway. So this can add extra salt. I like this ratio though of two, two of the miracles, uh, two of the uh, match chain seconds and two polys just because it allows uh, like kind of... After you go for your like your miracle fusion, you don't really want like another one, but it's good to have just like two of them. If I could draw like one of these, one of these, and one of these, it's just like super optimal because this one already adds the other copy to your hand. And I was actually considering playing one at one point, but like it's fine with playing two because this card, Blaze Phoenix is actually really good. Uh, and then um, pretty much with miracle fusion, I mean sometimes this card can be good, but for the most part, uh, you're just gonna use it just to bring out something just so you can get extra damage. Plus you can draw a card. And then the off chance that you can make a score now, uh, I took him out because I didn't really need him. But um, there's also Gaia is like the card that I usually brought, uh, ring out, anyways. But uh, yeah, because uh, these are all all pretty much worth. And this card has a pretty good effect; it like absorbs basically you can honest them. Um, and we're playing three MST. You can try night beams if you want, just to so be super aggressive. Um, I like three maxi personally, but the other card I think it was. Well, I tried a lot of different versions of the deck from a live stream. I've, I've played so many versions of the deck, and it basically all comes down 
pretty much the same result. Uh, but yeah, Maxi is a fantastic card. If you don't like it, you can drop it. But I recommend you guys to play Maxi, at least uh, two copies. And the reason is, is because in any OTK deck, having the ability to just have extra cards, um, you know, even if your opponent just summons everything, you know, turn one, uh, you can rebuttal and just like beat them, you know, real fast. Unless, of course, they have like a battle fader or something like that. Um, as far as the extra deck, uh, I'll just mouse over the cards real quick. Basically, it's it's Blaze Phoenix. That's the most common card. Oh, also, um, <laughs> you can tactically maxi and you can go into this. Uh, usually, that's you use the gear gears, but you know, maybe, maybe you need to do that. Uh, this card is very good because this brings out Blaze Man and then Blaze Man has Poly. And then maybe you have Mass Change Seconds. And if you want to play uh, the uh, Mass Changes plus like the, the Shadow Mist, highly recommend you guys to play at least one Shadow Mist. It just adds a lot of utility to the deck and a lot of like extra free stun. Um, but yeah, MST is good uh, because this is an OTK deck. MST is pretty good in OTK decks uh, because you can OTK much easier if there's no back row. Like I said, this deck, um, it, it can be very aggressive and uh, it can also play passive because of the gear gear. So don't feel like you always have to go all in. Like if they have like five back row, sit on your gear gear armor. If they want to sit cards, just flip up your armor over and over and they'll get annoyed to the point where they're going to make a play. And then after that, um, as long as they don't OTK you, uh, usually the deck ODKs uh, relatively quick, especially if you can survive. Like if you set an armor, like I said, first turn and it survives and they attack and you usually win those duels. Um, as far as the other cards uh, I was thinking about running and messing around with, I was trying Photon Thrasher out. I was trying, uh, well, you guys probably know I love BLS so much that I try to put it in here anyways. Uh, I don't really feel like you need it because everything's Pyro and Earth, but you can try if you want. Uh, Photon Thrasher was just a card I can like special summon. I was also trying out the Heroics, that could be another option as well. I was also trying Ancient Gearbox uh, with the Augur because uh, Augur can search out Accelerator. Um, actually, it's... Uh, it's one earth machine type monster from your deck to your hand except for auger and you can't declare attacks nor special summon monsters except for machine types. Uh, most of the time with this though, it's a, it's like a really strong first turn. Go for Giga Giga X. Um, you, you, you summon auger and then you can search the gearbox unless you already have, uh, unless you don't have this card. In that case, you probably search out this card and then you just go ahead and make this guy and you search out and then you just, you know, have a strong first turn. But since you can't enter your battle phase, I don't like that. Or it's, 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 you can't attack, you can't declare attacks, so you can't even, uh, so you can go into your battle phase, which can tactically be important in some cases. Um, but Gearbox is okay, but it just it lets you add a lot of cards to your hand, which is tactically good in this deck, because um, you're going to be, you're going to have free cards with Volcanic Shell forever, because you Volcanic Shell, uh, and then once that one goes to grave, you add another one, then you get rid of that one with Poly or whatever you do to get rid of it, and then you add another one. Um, you can play more Dark Laws, I guess. I think this is before I put this one over here, but for the most part, yeah, you could definitely play two. Uh, you could try three Hero Lives and like just make it an all-in deck because it can tactically uh, go super ham in uh, relatively quick. And Hero Lives is never a dead card, which is what I really love. It's just payoff life points. You can never, unless you're at one life point. Interesting just random fact that I could mention right now is that uh, you, when you're at one life point, you can't actually pay half of your life points in the game. I don't know for whatever reason it doesn't let you. I don't know if that's a rule or if that's just in the, uh, well, I want to say the Game Boy Advance one. It's kind of it's kind of irrelevant that we're mentioning it, but yeah, you can't pay life points when you only have one. Uh, Night Beam is an excellent card, and the Oshi, they, they love playing heroes with like three MST, three Night Beam, and they just go like super, super all in. Um, there's also Bujin and Madaratsu. I thought this card was kind of cool. Because if you banish your card with Miracle Fusion, you can re resummon it. There's also Iron Carl that lets you, if you control a face up machine type monster, you get to target one level four lower machine type monster in Gaver, and you special summon it. It negates its effect, destroyed during the end phase, but don't worry about the effect, that's not going to happen. Uh, also, mass change, especially if you're playing the, like, I, I would recommend you guys, like I said, to at least play one Shadow Mist, and if you're going to play one Shadow Mist, you can, you can definitely get away with one mass change, because remember, you still have the Blaze It, and you can still go into this card, which is actually a really good card, because it lets you also uh, draw a card. If it destroys an opponent's monster by battle. And if you want to, you can drop out maybe like these three, or I don't know what you want to drop out. But you can definitely add like three Reckless Greed. Obviously, you don't play one Reckless Greed. When you play Reckless Greed, it's always at three, unless you're crazy. But, anyways, that's the deck profile for you guys. If you guys have any suggestions on this fun little deck, I'd love to hear them in the comment section below. But thanks for watching, guys. Asian Ice out.